How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to create a little program that uh, it's the Can You Vote program. So it'll take this person's first name in a text box then we'll create another text box that asks for the user's age. When you click submit it'll have a message, there will be a message saying whether that person can vote or not. So let's take a look at some code. So first thing I want you to do is go to line 17 and I want you to change your name, type your name there. After that let's go to line 22. So here we have the first name, the, in, uh, the input box. Now what I want to do is create another input box with your age and another text box type text and so this time let's create the ID um, age box okay next let's program the clear let's have um, let's go to the line, uh, end of line 10 I'm gonna press enter so what I want to do here is clear the F name box and the age box. So let's go, let's type uh, document dot get element by ID. Let's go F name box. And then let's type in um, dot value equals okay we could do that do the same thing here and it's good to to type it all in there so that way you get practice and you commit it to memory age box dot value equals okay, don't forget those semicolons okay save that next I want to go to line 7 and uh, press tab a couple times okay here we want we should be um, should have enough practice here so we're, what we're going to be doing is obtaining the value from the F name box so we're going to create a variable called first name document dot get element by ID we're getting that from the F name box Okay, all that should be starting to become second nature. Whoops. We're getting this from the age box. Okay, we also want to create just a variable called result. Let's press enter. So on line 10 what we're going to create is an if-else statement which in other words is a decision statement. So once again what we're creating is a decision statement which is also called an if-else statement. So uh, on line 10 we're going to type if Notice that's a key word. We start with the open parenthesis and we're going to look at age. That is our variable. And we're going to use an operator, a comparison operator, call, uh, greater than or equal to. And then we're going to use the number 18. Now we're going to use, uh, at the end of that statement, we'll use the open 
curly bracket I like to create two spaces and on line 11 I like to press tab and if the variable age, the number that's stored in the variable age is greater than or equal to 18 then it will execute what's on line 11 which is going to be in between these curly brackets and what I'm going to type in is uh, result equals and in quotation marks I'm going to put a comma you are old enough to vote okay okay now I'm going to go at the end of line 12 after the curly bracket and so in case it's, it's over the age of 18 I mean under the age of 18 then we gotta catch that and that's gonna be an else open curly bracket Result equals you are too young to vote. All right. Okay, I think that might do it. Oh no, we have one more thing to code here. So after line 15, we're going to press enter. Um, so remember this uh, the messages are just being saved in the result uh, variable but there's no execution yet on that's gonna be there's no output yet so I'm gonna create that under document dot get element by ID and we're going to manipulate the message uh, div or a message area paragraph ID message and I'm going to put message dot inner HTML equals and I'm here I'm going to put first name plus results okay let's save it and let's run it and see if it works refresh so first name uh... put joe your age seven joe you are too young to vote let's clear it so remember every time you create a program you need to be able to test it All right. Betty, you are old enough to vote. Good. Clear and everything seems to work now. I want to show you one more thing. So when we... What we have here is a comparison operator. So what's going on in this whole area here between the parentheses, this is what we call a condition. The condition is going to evaluate to either true or false. Uh, always. Okay. Um, and if it's true then it's gonna do whatever's in these curly brackets and if it's not then it's gonna skip that and it's gonna go to the next um, block of code which is the else statement and we can also add in a future video I'm gonna add you know another condition under the else and it's gonna if it evaluates that and if it's true then it'll do the next line of code and so on and so forth now um, going back to this condition it needs to evaluate to true or false and when we do that we are comparing uh, two values in this case one of our values is a variable and the other value is just a regular number and here we have a comparison operator so I did a Google search and I like going to this website called w3schools.com and here we have different comparison operators so I want you to look at this, this, this is very important that you take a look at this and look at the different comparison operators notice um, one of the first ones here 
is you're comparing um, this is equal to remember if you're doing just a one equals uh, one equal sign is assigning a value okay that's different than two equal signs which is comparing you know whatever's in inside the x variable and the number eight okay so for example here given that x is equal to five so notice the value that's inside x is it equal to eight and that is false here it's comparing the value that's inside x and that is five and comes out to be true so you need to check these out because this is very important you have the not equal not equal value or not equal type okay and then we have the greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to okay so here is kind of a similar example to what I created now in addition to the comparison operators we also have logical operators logical operators um, add, a, add an additional condition so for example here where it says uh, the variable x the value is 6 and then it's using and as another word so as another condition to include another condition in this case y is equal to 3 so how do we do that we're using the, this operator so uh, double and and um, this is for or and then this is the exclamation point is for not so if we take a look at the examples x is less than 10 and y is greater than 1 okay and so this is an example of how we use these logical operators in two uh, conditions okay so to make sure to take a look at this website go to w3 schools or just do a google search and look look up um, conditional I mean uh, comparison operators and logical operators so another um, another thing I wanted to say is that boolean uh, the word boolean b o o l e a n that is uh, the value for that is either true or false so as you can see uh, whenever you do a comparison it's gonna return one of two values either false true or false true or false so once again if it's true then it will run that um, line of code and if it's not it'll skip it and it'll go to the next block okay so hopefully you, you learned uh, something new here and um, uh, I'll see you in the next video